This is a Danish Defense 24-hour combat ration. Now weighing in at 3 pounds 4 ounces and containing approximately 3,700 calories, this ration comes in two different versions, one for cold weather climate and one for hot weather climate operations. This one's for hot weather. So let's check this out. All right, right off the bat we have a accessory packet with it looks to be drinks and sugar packets, gum, a couple of sporks. We'll check that out in a moment. Got some wheat biscuits. Raw bite fruit and nut chocolate bar. A little jam here, raspberry jam. Oh, look at this, some chocolate muesli. Not bad. Got some chicken biryani. Nice. Vacuum sealed pack of peanuts, 50 gram pack. Decent little portion. Some tuna, lime, and pepper. A couple more Orifo brand items here. Actually, a lot of this is Orifo. The company's contracted to make ration components for Germany and England. All right, so here, energy drink powder, lemon flavor, cocoa beverage powder. A little chocolate bar, also Orifo brand. A little 25 gram pack of raisins. Brussels pate. That sounds pretty neat. And some sort of porridge. Not sure if this is fruit of forest porridge, strawberry porridge, or apple porridge. We'll find out. Sounds really interesting. And some fruit minis. Apple black currant. And look at this. They even have some bridge fruit items. Whole wheat bread. Actually, two whole wheat breads. They feel pretty dense. Strawberry jam, peanut butter, also Orifo brand. Most of this is Orifo. And you got another chocolate bar. There's a lot of stuff in here. Some farmhouse pate, spicy sauce, and that's it. All right, now for this accessory packet. You get some classic Taifu black tea. Oh, nice. Some more Colombian freeze-dried coffee. Not bad. Get three of those. More than enough there. Three antibacterial wipes. Keeping it clean. Hey, look at that. They give you two of those British operational ration pack sporks. These things are top-notch. Oh, and look at this. You even get a toothbrush. Nice. Looks like you get a couple packs of sugar. Just, I don't know if that's right, but there's just two packs of sugar in this bag. That's not too bad. They're not loading you up with sugar. Three packs of salt and pepper. Another tea. And three V6 dental white gum. And you even get three toothpicks. What an amazing variety. So let's start off with breakfast. Okay, and for breakfast we're gonna be starting the day off right with that raw bite fruit and nut bar, that Brussels and farmhouse pate to go along with those biscuits, and then that interesting porridge. Cocoa beverage powder, coffee and tea, and that chocolate muesli. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that muesli. And just fill it up to the line right here. Simple enough. Make sure there's none of those little dry packets inside. Looks good. Look at that. Hmm. It just has this really simple and subtle smell of dried milk, oat and rye, and a little bit of chocolate. It's nice. We'll add more water to that as need be. Check out that nice gusset. We'll just set that over here. And while that's rehydrating, we'll check out those drinks. Oh, 
I'm gonna hold off on the coffee for just a moment. Cause I know how I'm gonna mix it with this cocoa beverage. But I kinda wanna try this on its own first. Now for those biscuits and farmhouse and Brussels pâtés. Let's see how well these things have maintained their shape. That's always a test. Yeah, they smell kind of stale. But we'll see. Stale with a little bit of a whole wheat smell to them. At least they held their shape. Look at that. Not bad. They're scored at the center. I'm gonna try it out on its own. Mm. Definitely tastes better than it smells. It doesn't taste stale at all. Wow, it's a very wholesome whole grain biscuit on its own. No bitterness. It's even a little bit sweet. I have Brussels pate is pork meat, pork back fat, pork liver, onions, spices. Let's see how this thing's looking. Definitely has the Authentic pate look and smell to it. And the farmhouse pate, which is also pork, but no back fat. Pork meat, liver. Oh, it does have back fat, but just not as much. Onions and pea protein. Hmm. See what the difference between the two of them are. Definitely has a darker look to the appearance. Farmhouse to Brussels. Here's farmhouse. There's Brussels. A little bit more pink in appearance with the Brussels. That raw bite. Let's see what the ingredients are. That's a very simple list of ingredients. It's just dates, cashews, almonds, and 10% cacao. I think it's dense. Hmm, it has a slightly pungent smell. It's fruity, definitely fruity, but that chocolate binded with those dates gives it a very unique smell to it. So then, this uh, porridge, essentially, is what they're calling it. It almost seems more like a fruit topping. We'll check the porridge out in a moment. I want to see how this fares. Try out that Brussels pate. It's a very fine looking pate on first appearance here. Mm. And it is. It's very creamy. Very well done pate. There's none of, none of the uh, metallic flavor that a lot of folks don't like with pâtés. That is, I gotta try out another little bit of this. That's just a very mild flavor. Not extremely distinct in anything other than the word buttery. That's the only way I can describe that. So this farmhouse pâté, a little darker in appearance. Hmm. It has a chunkier texture, a little bit more metallic. And I feel like I just hit a chunk of fat, but I feel Texture-wise, this one is a little bit more appealing. The Brussels. These biscuits, they hold together very well. Perfect for spreading pâtés or potentially a jam. I save those for lunch. But this spreads very well on those biscuits. Real quick, I want to see this wet nap. It has no real odor to it. It feels a lot like a standard USMRE moist towelette or wet nap in the sense of its strength, which I don't really want to test. But it's nice to give you three of them. I gotta check out this hot chocolate real quick on its own. That's incredibly rich. Not very sweet. And it's not overly creamy. You could definitely, in comparison to USMRE hot cocoa, say that this is lighter, but more chocolatey. Definitely of better quality than a lot of military ration hot cocoa beverages. But I gotta do it right. Got a coffee for lunch and dinner I'll try on its own. But this here. It's 
see how this fares. Mm, that's strong. That's a fantastic pick-me-up. And that coffee, I'm really looking forward to trying that on its own. It's, it doesn't seem to have a lot of dried milk or some sort of creamer in it. And with that coffee, it makes for some quality army mochaccino. Let's check out that farmhouse pate with that biscuit. See how much better it does with some texture behind it. Hmm. Well, that works very well. It balances out with a very meaty, somewhat savory, lightly metallic and undertone kind of pate that brings you back for more, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, that's a good breakfast item. That'd be good at any time of the day. So the Brussels pate. After I try out a little bit of this tea. I'm such a savage, I didn't even take the tea bag out. So this Brussels pate. Hmm. You know, I'm surprised. The Brussels pate gets lost in that biscuit. The flavor, it's not as pronounced as that farmhouse pate on the biscuit. On its own, I find this to be better. That's how I'd be enjoying this. Just straight out of the little 25 gram pat that it gives you. Because that, that is exquisite. On its own, that's the way to go. The pate, the Brussels pate, perfect on its own. Farmhouse pate, perfect with the biscuit. All right, so I really want to see what this is like, but I'm not sure if it's best on its own or paired with this. This feels like it may be rehydrated by this point. Let's find out what this is like. That looks good. That last little bit out of there. Not bad. Oh wow, I think those are little pieces of dried apple in there. I completely missed that. That's probably what the lightly sweet smell was. Hmm. Chocolate and apple and whole grain with milk. What a combination. Those are quality dark chocolate chips. This is incredible. Perfectly rehydrated too. The dried milk is fresh. Definitely not off in any way. That's always a plus. Look at that. Definitely nothing bland about it. That's filled with flavor. Hmm. That apple really does add an extra dynamic of sweet and tart to the chocolate, which is actually a slightly bitter dark chocolate. Because that rich combination really balances itself out with that milk and whole grain. What a fantastic combination. So now this porridge is what they call it. This is going to be apple porridge. I want to see what it's like on its own. Just on the spoon. Kind of has a glistening applesauce look to it. Check that out. Hmm. With chunks of apple in there. Wow. Well, now I know what's going to be perfect with this muesli. Because on its own, this is what it looks like. And by itself, it's like applesauce. I'm just going to have a little bit over there by itself. Just to kind of give the idea. But this really needs to go on this. It'll give it exactly what it needs. That little bit of extra sweetness and flavor and moisture that the um, whole grain oats are kind of needing. This is the way to go. This seems like the kind of thing you could put it on bread. You could eat it on its own. You could mix it with a lot of different things. Definitely a unique military ration component, that's for sure. It's like a cross between an apple jelly and an apple sauce. Almost tastes like an apple pie filling, actually. Look at that. Before I do anything else, I gotta check out this fruit and nut bar. Hmm. That's a little bit dry and strong in flavor. Very strong of dates. Not very sweet, very high in fiber. That's definitely something you chew slowly on. That tea, that's the British standard. It's kind of interesting to see it in a Danish ration. Love it or hate it, Thai food. Personally, I love it. But then this, so let's check this out on its own. There's vanilla in that. It almost tastes like a yogurt because of that vanilla. It's not very sweet. But then with this muesli, see how this works. It'll make or break it, that's for sure. Mm, that's definitely a way to go. It's like putting a fruit compote onto a breakfast main. Anything to really add that extra moisture content on something that's a little bit dry. Which even with the milk, the whole grain oats are just a tad bit dry and have this little bit of a bitter flavor to them by themselves. I can pick up that bitterness, but with this um, apple porridge, essentially is what it translates to. Hmm. So, um, this is the disappointing part of the breakfast right here. It's 
unusual. It doesn't even smell that great to me. It has this strange sour smell, that fruit, nut, and chocolate bar. I feel like the, um, the cocoa is a distracting addition to that bar. It would have been better just without the cocoa in it, I think. Best part of breakfast, farmhouse pate on these biscuits. Perfect combination. Uh, the Brussels pate really gets lost on the biscuit and you can't really taste anything. It's best on its own. But this, it's so strong and metallic on its own that that part kind of gets balanced out by the biscuit. It makes for a perfect combination. I want to thank Thor, Authentory Info. Thor's got a channel too. I'm going to link it in the description below. He does MRE reviews and reviews on knives and all sorts of stuff. Really cool guy. Definitely got to check his channel out. Give him a subscribe. Tell him Steve sent you. That muesli is really filling. This is a very filling breakfast. Ready to take it over to lunch. Okay, and for lunch we're going to be having a tuna lime and pepper. Roasted and salted peanuts, and then those fruit minis, apple black currant, some strawberry and raspberry jam, and peanut butter to go along with that whole wheat bread, a dark chocolate bar, Colombian freeze dried coffee, energy drink, lemon lime flavored, and some dental V6 gum. And just like we should be doing in life, this lunch is keeping things simple and keeping them nice. Okay, we first stir it off with that Colombian coffee. And for that energy drink, lemon flavored. All right, so I gotta check out this whole wheat bread real quick. Bridge fruit. A lot of countries are adopting this company's product. Look at that. Thing kind of reminds me of a wheat snack bread. It smells fantastic. It doesn't smell like chemicals. That's always a plus. So these little jams. That's looking pretty good. Nice dark color to it. Raspberry. Oh, that looks really good right there. Look at that. Nice. You know this bread would be nice if there was like a little opening on the side that you could just squeeze stuff into, but they don't really have that option. This peanut butter looks really dark. I gotta check this out real quick. Look at that dark appearance to it. Hmm. Oh wow, that's different. Well, it's very thirst provoking, more so than regular peanut butter. Very granular, a little bit chunky, like little bits of chopped peanut in it. I gotta try out this coffee to wash that down. That's, um, wow, that's perfect in some coffee. There's this ever so slight acidity. It's a medium to bold roast. Check out these apple black currant fruit minis. Yeah, those, that's, well, oh, that's an exquisite incredibly inviting fruity sweet lightly tangy mouth-watering kind of smell i just love black currant anything with black currant you can't go wrong and black currant really always reminds me of the combination of blueberries raspberries and cherries mm. yep even just one of those is bursting with flavor it's sweet it doesn't stick to your teeth which is a plus so this Orifo brand tuna lime and pepper. You can find these things in British operational ration packs and Orifo also is contracted to making drinks for uh, German EPAs. So this brand, you'll see it turn up. Let's see what this is looking like. Look at that. Nice little protein boost, very lean. I mean, when I've eaten these things, I've eaten these out camping and I just squeeze it right out of the pouch. I don't use a spoon or anything move it upwards like this. I always fold it like this and that's always how I eat them. Mm. What a perfect tangy, 
and savory combination that really masks the fishiness. Orpho knows what they're doing. Let's see how they do dark chocolate. It's a little broken up, but it's not bloomed at all. That looks great. Some quality looking chocolate right there. Now those roasted and salted peanuts. Nice hiss. Whoops. And try the ones that flew first. Say, hey, those aren't dry. They're like, hmm. Wow, those are really good quality peanuts. They seem lightly roasted. And wash it down with some of this lemon energy drink. I love how there's not an over laudened amount of food coloring in this drink. <clears throat> That's my favorite part about a lot of these international beverage bases. They don't use as much food coloring as the USMRE, and food coloring is not necessary. It just check out some of this jam, some raspberry jam on its own. Hmm. That's not very sweet. It has nice little seeds in it. Tastes pretty natural. It's not overly filled with a, a gelatinous pectin. It tastes very natural. Awesome. I love how they give you two different little things of jam too. That variety. I must say this this ration has it. So the strawberry. That's even better. That has this pronounced strawberry flavor. It tastes very natural. Also has a couple little pieces of strawberry seed in it. It doesn't taste overly processed. Not bad. So I have to really do up this bread. You know, with this spork, it's not the easiest thing to get out of this little tub. I'll say that. But that's okay. I want to try the bread a little bit on its own just to get a good reading of what it's like. How moist is this? Hmm. That tastes like real bread. It's not thirst provoking whatsoever. It has a nice chew, like a little bit of a bounce to it. You know, it's not too firm. Does this split in half? No, it doesn't. It's just a little piece of bread that you can't really do much with. It's not scored down the center where you can cut it or anything. Ah, you know the thing to do. And you just gotta dip your pieces of bread in the jam. This is your most convenient way of doing it without making a mess and actually getting all the jam. That bread's even better with that jam, I'll say. I mean, that's strawberry flavor. It's very pronounced. And um, I'll just keep bringing it back for more. There's really not enough of it. Hmm. Now the raspberry kind of gets lost in the bread. That kind of reminds me of that at Brussels pate. Same kind of thing. Maybe a little peanut butter with it will do the trick. Well, that's kind of a lot of peanut No big deal. Oh boy, that was a big bite. Hmm. Almost bit off more than I could chew there. So I gotta get a bite of this tuna lime and pepper. It really makes a sound when you skewer it. Hmm. That's my favorite tuna. It has no fishy flavor to it. I know it's a little cliche, but it literally tastes like chicken. The texture is like tuna. And a nice boost of protein and sodium. Definitely balances out some of the sweeter components of this meal. That's true quality. So the lemon beverage base, it's very standard, you know, and I, I mean, when they say there's a, it's an energy drink, it's just maltodextrin, you know, a nice slow burning carbohydrate they throw in. It's not overly sweet. There's no caffeine in there per se. I don't even think there's any vitamins. It's just a very basic flavored lemon beverage base. That's refreshing and not filled with a bunch of food coloring, which is always a plus. So these black currant apple fruit snacks essentially oh several of them at a time you can taste so much more of the apple and they're sweeter I mean it brings out the sweetness you just get a handful again not filled with a bunch of food coloring sweeteners or anything artificial and it's predominantly apple but there's that black currant that they threw in there it really gives it that exotic free flavor that here in the US you don't get to try that every day that's a really nice snack and then this chocolate. For 72% cocoa, that's exceptionally smooth. No bitterness. I don't know how they did that. That is an accomplishment right there. Because it's not sweet either. It's not like they went and threw in a whole bunch of sugar to balance out that 72% cocoa content dark chocolate. This is just really good. Not bitter. Incredibly smooth and exquisite and truly decadent chocolate. What a nice little morale pick-me-up. So I think the bread is better with the strawberry jam, 
eat the raspberry jam on its own. I think even the raspberry jam and having it with a bite of chocolate would have been nice. Just thought of that now. Best parts of the tuna lime and pepper and this dark chocolate. This dark chocolate is like wispy. Wow, the dark chocolate with that last bit of fruit snack there. That was a good combo. Yeah, I forgot the gum again. I'm just gonna skip that until dinner. But the rest of this, I'm gonna finish this up. Then later on tonight, I'm gonna check out the rest of it. Okay, and for dinner, we're gonna be having that chicken and vegetable biryani as our main course. Nice 400 gram main. Got that whole wheat bread to go along with it. Some raisins, another 72% chocolate bar, and some coffee and tea. All right, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so let's first start off with that coffee and tea. Now for that main course, that chicken and vegetable biryani. Boiled it in the pouch for about eight minutes. Can immediately smell that coriander. That's the first thing, signature smell. It's looking pretty good. You know, before I throw that spicy sauce on it, I really want to try this out on its own. You know, I think it needs this spicy sauce. Could really benefit. It is a complex range of flavors on its own. I mean, you can taste the coriander, red pepper, chili, cumin. I mean, it's a excellent range of flavors, but I think this is really going to um, give it that kick that it could benefit from. Mmm. You know, this on its own, the spicy sauce. Mmm. It's an excellent chili and garlic vinegar kind of flavor. This is really going to add to the meal much better. So these raisins, a little ounce packet of raisins and look at that. Looks like a range of standard and golden raisins. Certainly have a nice varying color. Not bad. So the whole wheat bread, I feel this is going to be a um, perfect thing to go along with that main course. And then this chocolate bar. I like how they give you two of them. It is just a little 25 gram bar. Just one on its own wouldn't be much. Even so, it'd still be pretty nice. So now, that chicken and vegetable biryani with the spicy sauce here. That brings out the complexness of the uh, ingredients in this main course. It has a great body to it. I mean, the peas and chickpeas, this is gonna be a filling meal. I'm sure it's high in fiber. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of preservatives. I can't imagine this having a long shelf life. I think I taste clove. It has a little bit of spice from ginger as well. Hmm. And I can really pick that up now that you add the spicy sauce, which really takes this main course to a whole new level. Dropping that spicy sauce on it. Incredible. Oh, that was mushroom. The whole grain rice, it's not mushy, has an excellent body to it. This here, I bet you could eat this cold and it'd still be decent. Definitely clean your plate with a meal like this. Definitely able to with that nice piece of bread there too. Oh hey, that's awesome. Wash that down with a little bit of this Taifu. Surprise there's no creamer. I guess in Denmark they don't like to put creamer in their uh, coffee or tea. They're keeping things simple and pure. And in this case, just a little bit of sugar with that Taifu. Takes any of that potential bitterness away. So these raisins. These have a nice, dry, firm texture to the touch. They're not glisteny like MRE raisins. Mmm, it has a rich flavor. A slight granular sugar texture when you chew it. Mmm, this tastes like a fruit snack. I'm curious to see what the raisins with uh, this biryani is like. Living dangerously. Mmm, it has a 
balance of sweetness. Those raisins, they don't give you enough of them. And it really adds to this main, which I'm almost finishing right there. I'm gonna save a little bit of that, try out some chocolate. I mean, it actually tastes like milk chocolate, but just so much more bold. It has all the good qualities of milk chocolate and none of the potentially unpleasant qualities of dark chocolate. It's Orifo knows what they're doing. These components are all top notch. Nothing's low budget, that's for sure. Can't go wrong with that. I like the coffee more than the tea. The tea, it's just so basic. I'm glad it's not bitter, but it's just lacking in complexity. But that's okay, because it's kind of a one-size-fits-all sort of tea. You know, no one's going to say that this is your their favorite tea. Well, maybe, maybe somebody, but nobody's going to say it's the worst either. Well, maybe some people say it's the worst too. You can find Taifu, and it's readily available pretty much everywhere. It's chicken and vegetable biryani. This is a real treat. Well, with this ration, I think it progressively gets better with each meal. Breakfast was not bad. Lunch was decent. But dinner, it's nice. This chicken biryani, the coffee, the chocolate, and those raisins are the best part of this ration. It's complex, yet not overpowering in any way with any of these flavors. It's perfectly balanced. Now that was a great meal. Danish 24-hour combat ration, hot weather. Thanks so much to Thor. Again, I'll be leaving a link to his channel below. Definitely check him out. Let's try out that gum. Oh yeah, and the toothbrush. But this here, this stuff's designed to clean your teeth. Let's see what it's like. Well, that's an intense spearmint flavor. Kinda has a firm chew to it. A little bit strange. You know, I got it. Oh wow, this actually has like toothpaste or something in it. Wow, that's a nice toothbrush. That's quite the ration. Danish 24 hour hot climate. Definitely covering the bases. Well anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.